I was setting up, I couldn't wave at that guy. He's waving at me. Who is that? <laughs> but anyway, welcome, or welcome back if you are returning. My name is Berlin. Today we are continuing Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> I love MMOs for this very reason. It's just so funny. <laughs> Happy Wednesday! <laughs> oh, they ran away. <laughs> Quest? Ah, I can't type. They're far away. Darn. Anyway, let me just get my, uh, this guy set up. Whatever this is, my chat, words, uh, I'm just going to say, if you don't mind, uh, don't forget to like, and uh, if you are totally new, but you like JRPGs, RPGs, fun, cozy games, stuff like that, you should uh, subscribe, because that's what we're all about, just having good times, and playing video games, and sometimes painting, and sometimes just talking about whatever but anyway <laughs> yeah how's everybody's Wednesday uh, I don't think that's the right way at all gotta go accept this from the scion the scion It's over that way. Oh, nope, nope, nope. This way. I thought so. I was like, uh, I don't remember leaving the city to get there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. We go through this thing. Yeah. This place is just so cool. These sunken ruin kind of things, whatever you want to call it. It's cute. It's cool. Not necessarily cute. I don't know where that came from. So funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's about either. Somebody got to level 14. The Italian hero. Would that be like Mario? Oh, 
Oh, hi, sexy. Welcome in. But I didn't think I walked out. Is it up here? Is it up here? Where are you at? No, we didn't come up here. I like this little town. I like these little castle walls. Chocobos. Look out, little! <laughs> Okay, that seeds have changed. That's what I thought. We can see it down there. Really? Yeah, it seems like there's quite a bit of here. So what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, just. I don't know, when you tilt it, it won't let you click it. Okay, so it's right over there. Supposedly. How do I get there? Up here? Is this the right place? I shouldn't have left, but I did other things. <laughs> no, it's not here. <laughs> so confused. Bashful geyser. It's a name. <laughs> place. We got there yesterday. Is it here? Yes! This Tatar room. I was all here. At least with the bookkeeping front. Good. Now I'm gonna go join your cult. I mean your organization against evil because that's how we continue the plot. <laughs> I didn't look up uh, spoilers, but I did look, look up if there were like other options if you could join, but no, you kind of, you have to join the, this to get to the next part of the story, so, it's okay. We saw ends up, but one objective to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our greatest concerns are the godlike beings known as the primals. Long have we struggled to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, not what it is what that first brought you to Arzia, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer. <laughs> I will go whither the wild rose blooms. <laughs> Gotta drink the Kool-Aid. Get that cool I take it you will help us. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Shast and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. 
These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelves Wood. Popolimo. That's such a cute name. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome. Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Oh, do you? That's pretty cool. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. I have been expecting you. Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, so he's a ladies' man? <laughs> oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Is that like an arrowhead on the end of her braid? That's kind of neat. <laughs> Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady. I'm sure he is at my service. <laughs> oh, baby. Nice. 
first guild task, or, or I mean, cult task. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna go save the world. He should. I mean, everybody should be wearing a tank top. <laughs> Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on their caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern have a doubled security over all their shipments. <laughs> in light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Cap, Cap Dry Bone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isimbard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Alright. Isimbard. At Camp Drybone. <laughs> Sounds like a summer camp. A bad summer camp. walking a bit I see oh my goodness anyway, sure actually let me double check which way I gotta leave out of this place Get out on the map. <laughs> it is run. <laughs> How can you take me? Well, that or Horizon. Uh. No, I would definitely not. Doesn't sound very good. Guess. Maybe go to Ulda? Kind of run from there. I take it? <laughs> okay. Probably, probably not. Maybe I just made this harder, but it looks like you go from there. Okay. Oh, she changed her outfit. <laughs> The bog hat. Yeah. 
Yeah, through Central Deadline. This is when having a, a vehicle where a mount would come in handy. <laughs> but that's okay, it's just a lot of exercise. Good old exercise. Scenic trip through the, uh, the lovely central Thedalon or Thedalon or what have you. Ooh, look at these cacti. Antling. Whoa. <laughs> Coffer and coffin. What is this place? Like a little inn? <laughs> ha ha! Oh, you could do the card game. That's... I didn't realize that's what that symbol was. Cute. Adelpha... Uh, I thought his name was Adelpharus. <laughs> I like that name better. I guess it wasn't that far. It always looks so much further. I mean, we still have a long way to go, but I thought this was further away. Bert. Nifty, nifty little town. Uh, okay, so this what? Hopefully. It makes me think of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I think. Unless it's the second one that has the ant. Oh, gonna attack me. Hey, JC! Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, thanks! <laughs> Need to wash it. <laughs> so, that's always the case. <laughs> to the next part of the continent. <laughs> we are doing a wild rose by any other day. Joined the cult. So, uh, you know, doing our first Cult duty. Whoa, that's really cool looking. Neat. 
Chico, chico. What is it? Or like a little bowl. <laughs> the bowls are so ugly, they're cute. Go to good old camp dry bone here. Ooh, it's a bird. Ah, there you go. That didn't take too long. It was a nice little adventure to explore. See everything. Get a tuned here. That way we don't have to just run. <sighs> ah, we should have chuck a quarter handy. Uh, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hi, I'm Mr. Bard. I'm here to search for the missing folk, I take it. Ms. Felia sent word that an adventurer fitting your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of the emulsion. It seems we know who the culprits are, at the very least. Now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help see the victims safely return. Cool. Unsolved mystery. Let us get right to it then. Minfilia names the Amalja's culprit. Amalja culprits and all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on these lands by Amalja hands. The flames burn where they might. But their light cannot say the darkness in all places at all times. Oh, stay. The darkness. <laughs> There have been brutal murders of callers at the church of St. Adama Ladama. <laughs> Innocents wishing no more than to pay their respects to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would see to the deed before mongrels catch their scent, but I know not if the Amalja still linger. Would you secure their remains for me, friend? You'll find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of what the Amalja seek in this area. Go twelve willing. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Now where? This way? Yeah. A lot of quests over this way. Hair club. All dogs go to hell. That's a sad one. Yeah, there are a lot of quests here. Cool. So I guess this back this way. So look at that bird. Ripe corpse. Oh dear. Well, this is just sad. Hey. Oh, heck. It's okay. Let's <laughs> think what is going on. Hey, Sean! Difficult. Oh, this guy's ran away. Uh, dead person. 
I have to return the remains to this person in town. It's my first official duty as a uh, cult member. <laughs> they just start me off strong collecting dead bodies, you know. What the heck, which way do I go? Throw her right in there. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, exactly. It is good to see you return. Were you able to secure the remains of our fallen? Oh, they're little flowers. <laughs> Does it look like a corpse to me? <laughs> With the bodies given back proper to the earth, the souls will find their way across to the other side. You have done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what of the Amalja? Did you see any? Surely such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry unawares. Ah, so there were Amaja remaining. After all, I feared as much. Their part of the low board disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there is more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Amaja raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great, and the question too many. It would not surprise me in the least to learn of other, another hand in this. But who's... Countless travelers pass through dry boat every day, and even if it were one among them, how would we best discover who may be implicit implicit in these vanishings? <laughs> Good old Oigo boy go. I used to listen to I don't know, but is it a band or is it just uh Danny Elfin? I used to listen to them in high school. But say we turn an eye to the common folk themselves. It may be among them that we find the reasons for these vanishings. Twelve forbid it to be so. There is a merchant by the name of Ungust who was born here in Drybone and grew up in the Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. I'd wager he's at the end, quaffing away the day's earnings. Here, I'll write a note for you to show him, else he's not like to speak to you. Quaffing. Unjust. Uh oh. This person looks like they've had a rough. Oh, why won't this door open? Ah! I think you're good, buddy. You, you, you can take a break. Oh, it's this guy? Oh, no. Well, gods be damned. You're the bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Ulda. What in the he seven hells do you want with me now? <laughs> Dear friend, Belch, missing people, please help. Pick up yours is in barred. Folk around here are as wary as they come. They'll turn tail and run if you so much as pass wind nearby. Played them off for fools and cooked some hard labor out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before, what with all the disappearances. You can go talk to him yourself if you don't believe me. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> this person's just whipping around. Hungry beggar. But please, this just leave me be. Oh. He just disappeared. It's a ghost! <laughs> devious derelict. Look at this. Devious. That's <laughs> a devious blank stare. Oh no, I didn't read it. Sorry. What do you say? Don't fight me. Darn. I accidentally double clicked that. 
Okay, well, petrified pauper. Tell me something. Well, what do you want from me? I don't, don't know anything, I swear. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I clicked it too fast. We'll never know what was so devious. <laughs> oh. Great, now I gotta go back to this guy and he'll laugh at me and say like, I told you so. Ah, 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 I told you so. <laughs> I know, right? So freak it out. Just as I told you, wasn't it? The whole lot of them are terrified. Pick up. There's been talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they simply up and moved on to a better place. This place isn't exactly close to Del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. Wow, this guy is so helpful. And he disappeared too. Like, listen, buddy. You need to talk to these people, then tell me what's going on. Okay. Welcome back, Burr. Have you learned aught of import? I see. I should have expected as much from August. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. Yes, there is a ghost to Del Sol here. I am excited to finally, one of these days, get there. It's exciting. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then the clergy may know something of use. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Goatskin pot helm. If we would know what the common folk speak of to their gods, we've no better place to ask than at the church of St. Adama Zandama. It is a small and humble church found to the northwest of here. And so long as you are headed there, I might ask you to, del to deliver this embalmed corpse. A morbid request, I grant you, but it must be born to, be to burial, and I trust none more than you to see it done. Seek out a man named Marques. He tends the graves of the Ilkyard. He will tell you where the body is to be interred. Just carrying all these bodies around. It's totally, totally not weird or anything. This girl's like... We could be related with our markings. <laughs> and our tails. Uh, the church, where's the church? Up yonder. Yeah, bring out the dead! Clay. Well, I guess I gotta go down the town, looks like. Chocobo, watch your step, bird. You would think this is where the body would be buried. You know, but I guess gotta take it to the church first. No, there's a more just gravestones all over the place. Interesting. <laughs> Adama is Adama. What is it making me think of? Something. It's making me. It's definitely something. Maybe it's a Vada Kedavra. A Dava Lama Zadama. <laughs> a Vada Kedavra. It's the church of a Vada Kedavra. I am Marques, yes. A body, of course. There there have been so many bodies of late. I, I apologize, miss. If you seek a place of burial, then there is an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay him to rest there. <laughs> a dava la dava. <laughs> Rabba lava ding dong. Yes. <laughs> Rabba lava ding dong. Change, 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 bop. 
Ooh. Battlestar Galactica. I didn't watch much of that. It's uh, somewhere over this way. This way. <laughs> All these blowflies. It's a, it's a nice touch. Gross. Is that my dog's feet? Yeah, it is. It's just such a thumb so loud. <laughs> Maybe it's up here behind him. I just didn't notice. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> would you just look at it? Oh, this is kind of a nice grave spot. Glass breaks, there's the corpse. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know if we should have a moment of silence or or what. They don't have any words. Anybody have any words they want to say? Pardon me. You will find Sister Orkin within the church walls. Church walls? She's in the wall. I hear you have done us the service of burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Isambard when next you see him. <laughs> you seek knowledge of missing drybone inhabitants. It is true, I am closer to the people than any other of the Order. I confide in them, and they in me. When they wish to speak to their keeper, Thal, I am the medium through which they do. Should I learn anything pertinent, I will be sure to share the information with you. Huh. I only wish Marcus would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars were deep. Indeed, he seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. Well, tragic. I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received word not long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man called Thedcred, I believe, took offense at his conduct. I must have words with Marquez, and soon. Oh, boy. <laughs> they don't like you hanging out in the graveyard. Ugh. Hey, he's creepy. This creepy guy just talking to the gravestones. Freaking me out, man. Freaking me out. Ooh, yes. I, uh... You know, this is kind of random, but uh, I have a Discord that I will be posting a link over on the community tab for anyone who is interested. I know, right? I'm like, hey, I would hang with that guy, Marcus. <laughs> he knows what's up. Looking to dip the wick. Yo, goodbye. I have to go uh, talk to the sister about that. <laughs> Thank you, Burr. A burial is no easy thing, even when the departed is a stranger. You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Burr? Sorry, y'all. I uh, saw a little lizard run into my apartment, but I have a tiny crack under my door, and I'm hoping he just ran right back that way instead. But he might be behind my TV. I don't know. I just don't want my dogs to eat him. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Anyway, 
Sorry about that. I know, right? Very ironic. <laughs> A pleasure, my dear Eisenberg. The name is Thad Crit, and I share a passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. A dog, no! Dude, they might get sick if they eat the lizard. Poor lizard. They have short lives anyway. He's <laughs> down here. Yeah, down here, there are lizards everywhere. And I don't know, it's... I haven't had any trouble with lizards, fortunately, like, before in the past, but, uh, got a lot of lizards coming in my apartment. I think it's been, because it's been getting, like, colder at night and, like, warming up in the day, it's, like, been really weird, so. I don't know. As long as he's, like, over there, it's good. Don't run on me, little lizard. Uh, freak out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Pleasure, my dear, as a bird. Oh, okay. Uh, they missing people. I, too, spoke with Ungust more times than I care to count. This seems to be some truth to the notion of the comic books, speaking their secrets only to those in service to the gods. Prostration, prayer, penance. Abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unawares than she who takes confession? The good sister Auricred herself. Auricred, she wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend, and you would be wise to keep an eye to this rose. Still, the Lich Keeper Marques. I'd swear to the Twelve I've seen that face elsewhere before. Okay, so the sister is evil. That's what that's what he's saying. Sister Alcrid, it cannot be, though she is wont to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own. It is not uncommon to see her speaking to the children, but no, it could not be she, could it? Hmm. <sighs> I grow weary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular that she is fond of. Pray seek out the boy, Bird. See if you cannot glean something from him about Orkin's activities. Speak with the uncombed urchin in the Golden Bazaar. The uncombed urchin. Where's the Golden Bazaar? For the children, is that the name of that little bar? The pub. Oh, is it a little market? Is that what you mean? I love the Moogle sounds, they're so cute. There's so many quests here, it's hard to see, uh... No. Oh, we may as well collect this person's... ...diggy. So, I'm tired of Just needed to talk with you. Oh, wait, uh, 
Oh, it's kind of far. It's up that way, I see. It's like, why don't I see it either? What is that? My hair track is Billy. A big goat. Sorry, now every th time I think I see something move. <laughs> I'd be looking for a lizard. It's just so close to the door, I'd want to like try to... Squish it out without my dogs going. Oops. <laughs> We're not going the right way. <laughs> surprise, surprise, eh? Tuko Tuko! Tiki Tiki! Vandalous Imp! You stay right over there, mister! Maybe okay, we can ride a chocobo back! No, because I haven't visited this place yet. Can only use chocobos to travel between places you've been before. But we'll probably be able to get one on the way back, so that'll be nice. A little bit, traveler, might I interest you? Not yet. Soon. <laughs> Look at this uncombed urchin. So disheveled. Please help! Sister Arkin went out all over the road and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right about here. About Thal and the Order and the other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing and she went looking for it. But what if the monsters outside hurt her? Please find her. What the heck? Save this lady, but she's bad. Supposedly. She probably isn't. They're just jumping to conclusions. Uh, it's up, but I have to post the link. So I will do that once uh, I end the stream. So it's very bare bones. It's the first server that I've run. Uh, Sexy's been cool helping me get it set up. Uh, but yeah, I thought it would be cool. Like a place that instead of waiting all day to chat in the stream, you could also just pop in there and talk amongst each other. And I'll pop in there every day and it would just be cool. We gotta hang out. <laughs> Something fun. Oh, so apparently... Oh, hello! Shocker. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was ready to kick him! That was easy. Hello, my lady. Aiden. <laughs> you, you are the one from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. You spoke with the child. Yes, well, I was able to find this lost trinket. It is a ring given him by his mother before she passed. I will see it safely back to him. What were those? Who were those guys I even killed? Just random soldiers <laughs> attacking her? This dog sounds like a small elephant chasing me. Or a small goat or something galloping. <laughs> clip clap, clip clap. She's very shady. She's 
she's hanging around with the kids, she's talking crap about the guy who's just trying to find sovereigns and peace amongst the dead. <laughs> Okay, now we're going back to dry mode, so now we're going to take a chunk of mode. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Yeah, chunky, chunky, chunky. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> Thought we were in dry mode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna be paranoid about this lizard because I don't know where it is. I'd be like, is it in my drink? Yeah. No. Just so you know, I don't have any lizards in my drink. We're good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about this lizard crawling on me or into my mouth while I'm sleeping, you know. It's bad to get nervous. You'll be like, it's so cold! And I'm, you're so warm, you giant rock! You just climb on you, squishy rock. I didn't realize <laughs> I thought it was just a fence. I guess it was, but... Uh oh. <laughs> just, a, just a dead body. Where is this guy? Just ran past it. There. This guy's wearing the same coat as me. Since Dorkin was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar, God's poor fed. I will secure a room at the inn for her should she require any rest. <laughs> poor little mouse. Got freaked out. Yeah, mice. It's. It can get bad with mice in houses up there. I, we've definitely had some mice <laughs> in the winter up north. Sister Orchid was attacked outside. Oh, yeah, I just read that one. Searching for the mementos of orphans and risking your own well being in the, do in the doing, no less. Certainly not the dastardly deeds Thancred would, uh, would have us believe. Right? I didn't get hurt. <laughs> Well glad I reserved the in room for Sister Orkin. It seems she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she is expected to make a full recovery. But now, on to the matter at hand. Thancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Abaja encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding these disappearances. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> read that funny. Where the heck is this guy now? Speak with Thancred. Is he... Where is he? <laughs> huh? What fox? Uh, the blue one? <laughs> Carbuncle. Um, I don't know if you remember that summon. I think it was. I think it was a nine. I don't remember. But uh, yeah. Um, 
Oh, my other class. I have one too. You get the the Arcanist class, which you eventually become a summoner. Yes, that's what I think of. It looks like a Pokemon. It's like even like the face is very Pokemon. <laughs> God, catch them all, yo. So he's. A ball's your wrong places. Oh man, we gotta run this way now. Just having us run all over. Ah, could I be? Get her exercising for sure. Can't ride a chocobo over this way either, can I? Yes, they're so cute. You could get like uh, a blue, a red, a green, and a yellow one. That's just that's not the joke about border. Yep, yeah, here. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I can run to jump over here, can I? No, you can only... I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to read all that. <laughs> Tackle. Basically, it's basically what it is. I like the music out here. Definitely reminds me of Final Fantasy Nine. I think I said that about the same music last time. <laughs> but it's so good! Look okay, at the camera. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Dusty Mongo. This guy just standing all the way out here. Oh, a nanny. Like a nanny goat. It's so cute. Where are I level? I love that their chocobo is dressed like a black mage. So funny. Oh, it's now a horse. Uh, it's always multiplayer. But, yep. So there's like random... It's what like the random people are. They're the ones with the blue names. The yellow-green names, they're NPCs. They're not real people. Ah, there you are, Murder. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all all about good Sister Orchid. Isabard said her wounds were serious. It would seem my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. But false, though they were. Perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following Sister Orchid near the Golden Bazaar, a bit of a malja caught my eye. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a Discord group. I made one. It's very, very in the early stages, but I'll post the link after I get off stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically playing single player. <laughs> I tracked them as far as this encampment, but, well, let us say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, dear Burr. 
Would you be so kind as to take a look inside? Among the wrong places. Get inside where? <laughs> That's okay. It's pretty it's pretty shocking. You gotta let it sink in. <laughs> Big boys. Double rage. Attacks. Get in. Clearly fit. <laughs> the targeting though gets me. Hey, you're welcome. Show the queer leaflet to Edgar. Okie dokie. So they come back quick, eh? They didn't even attack me. Uh, no, you can do dungeons with other players. So that's cool, at least. I've been running some with, uh, sexy. <laughs> we'll do like the dailies. He he takes, and then I uh, practice other stuff on my other class. <laughs> well, did anything tickle your fancy? Found this leaflet. This leaflet. See the wealth of nail led to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. The lettering, though, atrocious, is it not? And these bits about the old fall seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Pray, take this to the inn at Camp Drybo. Let us see what Sister Orkin says about this. Oh, look at this cute little Power Ranger. <laughs> cool, well, we could uh, teleport now. <laughs> okay, let's see, where is this woman? Get up here. Is she in here or is she up there? Lambertate. Yes, yeah, teleporting is nice. Again, you have to make sure you're attuned to like the city's ether etherite, but it's very convenient. You have to pay money though, but it's not too much usually. Unless you're like continents away, then it gets a little pricey. <laughs> yeah, no wet bones, please. That's cool. It seems like a lot of people have more than one character. You can see why, though. It's fun. Fun. It's cool. Okay, I guess I have to go up. It's like with this dirt chocobo porter. Uh, yes! Dip in his wick. Oh my gosh. That's so weird. I was not expecting that at all. Oh. Uh oh. 
<laughs> really bad way. Gonna look for the chocobo. <laughs> She's a fair that guy. Lest not judge or judged, lest ye be judged. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ow, stick it. True that though. True. Huh. Who's this stupid woman? Do, 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 do. Why did the music go away? It's strange how it randomly cuts off. Literally says the woman is here. Where is she? Underneath of here? Like, directly? I thought I ran past that. Oh! That's not her. Ah, okay, there's another room I didn't realize. Oh well, took a little detour. <laughs> My savior comes again, so what do I owe the honor this day? Can you explain this? What is this? Blasphemous! These are not our teachings at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that, I can assure you. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> then I don't feel so bad about it. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the order to deceive the people? Oh, hello, Thandred. I was coming to search for you. He's so tall. The plot thickens, Burr. Our culprit pretends to be a priest, telling credence to his deception. There's no doubt an irony in there somewhere. But I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. I shall consider how best to handle this. For now, tell isn't barred what we have learned here. You nasty. Oh, these chocobos are so cute. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. So cute. Golden Saucer is tricky. I have been there. One of these days we'll go play mini games with the Golden Saucer. <laughs> Posing as a priest, to think. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Burr. I shall keep my ears and eyes open. Now, more than ever. <laughs> cat. <laughs> cat. Oh, yeah, I'll sell that. Got all these pieces to sell there. I'm afraid I've not seen any unusual activity. Nor have I... Any at this camp giving me cause to doubt them, but unless we can identify the culprit and soon, more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let bird me serve like like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in a battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs, so as long as you don't mind the smell of the stains. 
These will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Burr, so as to lay the foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments Eisenberg has lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Yay, we get to wear disguise. We're going to be a master of disguise. And a pair of weathered shepherd slops. Are those the legs? Yeah. To my boots, though. Ah, yes! Just wear my nice dress shoes. <laughs> they went barefoot. Yeah, those kind of match. <laughs> Just want them to look decent. Still have my uh, arm guards on though. You can never be too safe. Oh my goodness! Ah, it's so cute! <laughs> oh my goodness! So funny! <laughs> oh. Hey, this guy, he looks like he'll give me some work. Oh, and you are. Huff, another refugee by the looks of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for your like. Be gone, and see to it you don't make a nuisance of yourself. Fruit. See, this is the problem with this place. I'm asking for some honest work, and nobody will give me the time. I preach the teachings of Azima, the warden. Hast thou come to partake of the honey of her wisdom? Zima is the keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for naught till the end of days. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Still need a job, though. Can I go in a bag? Oh. Greetings, good madam. Is there aught I might assist you with? Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid your wares are very expensive. Mayhap you should rejoin your fellows out at the pond north of Sandgate. Ew. They're not that expensive. I'll even cut you a deal. That's like Florida for you. That's how it is right down here. What is it? God, it's not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to fester whoever you like. Why don't you keep up with your own kind by that muddy pond of yours a dry bone? Oh. Woo, that was fun. Take a ladder. The king of thieves. Ooh, the sound of the rain on the roof. Very nice touch. 
<laughs> Parkour, yes. Ugh, I need to beg for one more person. Hmm, fancy. Green and red. <laughs> yeah! There we go. Uh, and I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. <laughs> Big grid, nobody wants to hire me. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you have quite an act for being a nuisance, Burr. The camp is a buzz with talk of your newly arrived vagrants. And though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have a commune by the pond north of Sandgate, to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities do not reach that place. Rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let us go there and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. Great mystery. Ugh, we're going the wrong way though. Crap. Cut to that way. Maybe. <laughs> Go. Some heavy rain, yo. Nice little tent, sir. Fine evening for catching false priests, what did you say? Yeah, it's just lovely. You look absolutely smashing, Burr. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left, then, is to wait for our quarry to appear. Quarry. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. This is no way for men to live, no way at all. Who are you? What do you want? Be at ease, child, for I mean you no harm. I am a priest of the Order of Monthal, and I come to offer you so cool. This leaflet bears the teachings of an old. Trust to them, and they will surely set you free from the shackles of penury. Heh. <laughs> Hmm, a tenting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you have made it a god's awful bummer. August? <laughs> what? How did you know? You bastards tricked me. It's this guy. Should have known. P please don't hurt me. 
I was only doing it to protect my people. Is that so? Do continue. The, very well. I'm a man of the Golden Bazaar, raised there, if not born. So moons ago, the Amalja, Amalja raids began. They would appear sudden as a sandstorm and plunder and pillage at will. Our defenders couldn't stand against them, as they were. Everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew, and so I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached the Amalja in hopes of brokering a deal. In return for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made demands. Outrageous ones. Demands? Of what kind, pray tell? First of all, they wanted the schedule for crystal shipments from the Nanawa mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me the information. Next, they wanted me to bring the people, so I posed as a priest to lure the vulnerable and give them over to the Amalja. I, I didn't have a choice. Protecting one's home is a noble thing, but at the cost of innocence. You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I suspect you are not telling me the full story. What made you sell out your own people? Speak. The uh, mumble was good. What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell low meat for a score of lifetimes and not even see a fraction of what the emulsion paid me. You sacrificed innocence so that you could lie in your own pockets? Words fail to express the contempt I feel for you. Spare me your contempt. If you want to blame me, someone for the mess of the world's in, then blame yourselves or the gods. Ooh, ah, not you again. Were you the one leaking the Immortal Flames patrol routes to the enemy as well? Spit it out. No, I know nothing about that, I swear it. At this stage, I'm rather disinclined to believe aught that leaves your mouth. But no matter, there'll be time enough to learn the truth. Sob. <laughs> Burra, be a tear and take word of these developments to Mintilia, would you? I shall pre freeze everything I can out of this filth. The abductees are still somewhere out there. Our foremost priority is to rescue them. <laughs> Medphilia at the Waking Sands. Is that all the way back home? They're back where... They abducted me. Yes. You will definitely, uh, teleport to there. <laughs> if I could. How do I get there again? It's this way, right? Yeah, up through here. <laughs> the moogle sounds. I love the little moogles. Too cute. Buzzards here? So when did that happen? Am I going the right way? No. Wait. Huh? Hold on. It's just running. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I am I am going the right way. Okay. <laughs> no. Toad attack. Keep moving. No, we got to report. Yeah. 
don't know where the cake's at though. Oh my goodness. Reporting for duty, man. Ah. Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Thank you. I did not realize that we had those. Welcome back, Burr. I'm pleased that you and Dencrit have been getting along. I see you. I've done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. As Dencrit said, we must ascertain where the abduct abducted were taken, and none but the Amalja know the answer. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all is said and done. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to end for this evening, but I am, oh my goodness, the dog's wet face. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I will post the Discord link in the community tab um, in the next within the next few minutes. So go check it out over there. And if you don't see it, just keep refreshing over there. I'll, I will post it in, a, in the next like 10 minutes or so. Okay, um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new here, and if you uh, would like to keep up when we'll stream next, I always post to the community tab when I'm going to be online, and I, yeah, I guess that's 